There's been a boat that's done some working off of uh, the uh, Jupiter area, and they, and they call it, for want of a better word, the Jackup boat. And uh, archaeologically speaking, is that uh, sort of a, a new breakthrough for this, this kind of a thing, to search and find and, and uh, not mess things up, but really do a great archaeological job? How do you feel about that? That uh, vessel, I believe, is called the Polyel. Uh, yeah. It was the idea of Doug Pope of Amelia Research, and uh, it, it solves a lot of problems about, first of all, maintaining a presence on the water under difficult conditions. Um, it allows a greater degree of control and um, care in the recovery of artifacts. I think the difficulty uh, so far, as I've understood it from the use of that boat, is that it hasn't been on locations where there have been complicated archaeological deposits that uh, warrant that level of attention. It's always great to be careful, uh, but that's a very big tool to use um, when the situation doesn't necessarily demand that kind of attention. With his light gear, he can explore it much easier. On a wreck like this, one wonders what were the circumstances of its sinking. Did pirates send it down, or did it strike a reef? How many lives were lost when it went down? And did it carry any treasure? And if so, is any of it around here somewhere? You can lose yourself down here, musing over the proud, romantic past of this great galleon. Lose yourself and forget you are tied to the surface with a very vital air pipe that brings you fresh air and sustains your life. Kip Wagner made his first discovery while walking down the beach off Sebastian, Florida. This sparked the interest of friends, and they formed the Real 8 Corporation to actively search for and find treasure and artifacts.